In recent videos, I have been talking about the damage done from these weather-related events here within the past six months or so, and even going back further than that. But here recently, these things are starting to stack up. And just in the instance of the military bases, they are saying that they need $5 billion to recover from these weather-related incidents within the past six months. And that's just in Florida and Nebraska. You're looking here at this Iowa flooding that has just absolutely wiped out some of these farms. They're just absolutely swamped with water. And a lot of these bins that were holding grain have just bursted. There's, there's nothing but destruction in many of these areas. And these guys are just saying they can't even imagine what the, the tally is going to be in terms of loss in the end of this. You're talking after millions of dead calves in Nebraska. Now thousands of tons of grain lost in Iowa. They're saying that these uh, floodwaters have hit Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, South Dakota, Minnesota, Nebraska, resulting in an estimated $3 billion in damage thus far. So another $3 billion we could throw one just right out the gate in terms of all this. Now there's a video here of these guys going down and prayers going out to them and everyone else out there dealing with this. These big bins of grain absolutely destroyed. You can see here they're, they're going through here on a boat. You can see this is absolutely flooded. All of this. All of this. Just wasted. Water seeping and all these other bins wasting everything. And I'm telling you guys, if this continues for weeks to come with more flooding, with weather-related events and the springtime flooding, snow melt-off, we could see big-time issues in terms of food shortage come the end of the year, a little bit after that. It depends on what areas are hit the hardest. As you can see, and as you have seen, this has destroyed a lot of farmland in this country. And as these waters still sit there, feet of flooding, they can't plant fresh crops. It's springtime. Guys are saying we should have stuff in the ground right now. Instead, they're still waiting for feet of water to recede. That's what's happening. So, you want to talk about the loss of food? Yeah, it's happening. Problem is, is most people are not going to understand this till it's too late. This is why we always say have a plan. We always say have a plan for a disaster type of an event, something similar to this or a lights out event, where you really need to have a plan for you and your family to survive in terms of food, water, the whole nine. But food shortage means everything skyrockets and that makes everything else around it go up as well. I don't think it, does, it doesn't matter how much of a warning how much you talk about this out here. Some of you will heed the sign, but others just won't. In one ear, out the other, off to the next YouTube video, and they won't never chalk up any plan. And that's sad. The writing's on the wall, folks. I'm going to leave a link. Make sure to join us every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, for Underground World News Live on Dabu 77. Much love, y'all.